guys, it's Anthony's Fish Life, and today I got new fish, and I haven't made a video since like, I think it's been a month, but um, let me show you what I have been doing, and well, I haven't really done anything or much of anything at all, um, but today we got new fish, my bucket's like pretty full. Of water and then my net that I used I threw it in here because I didn't want to put it anywhere else well that was a net I used <clears throat> but um I got this big net from a pet store that I was going to film in the pet store and then I left my phone in the truck I have a whole bunch of bags because that's right that's what they were in of course I put some uh start right in there and I'll show you guys my new fish um can you see any Oh, wait, it's because I'm not showing you. <laughs> oh, and also, my, um, this big blue molly and this red molly had a baby. Oh, there you, he's right here. You guys can see him? That, they had that baby, and, uh, he's, I think they've had others, but he's the only one that survived. But my new fish, whoa, whoa, see something in there? I thought I saw something. Um, is this glass catfish. I got this glass catfish. This long... Gosh dang, I keep hiding. Um, my other fish. I don't know if you guys know I got those neon little di dianimos. Um, oh, there he is. My, it's a long finned dianimo. He's freaking out. He's still little. And I got, um... A new pleco and he's not a big pleco so you're not gonna be able to find him real easy like um, shadow and plank he is a small pleco and I think he might be hiding in here Let's see if I can see him is that him right there I am not sure He's yellow. He's a. I think he's either an albino pleco, albino, an albino baby pleco, or he's a bristles albino pleco. So he could be um, one of the two. But that's basically all I've done to this tank. I have. I've done a filter change, and I've. I added more water from the last time. Um, that's about it. And I was gonna film that, but. Um, I didn't, and I. I want to make more interesting videos. So, um, I'm doing, like, new fish, um, I have been do working on a pond, and I haven't showed you guys that content at all, because I have none, um, it was kind of hard, because I didn't have uh, another person helping me build the pond, it was, well, it was me and my brother, and he was helping me do it, so, um, I didn't really have a camera person to hold the camera, and I can't hold the camera and use the shovel um but i think the albino pleco might be up there oh is that him no nope. okay i can't see him right now but he'll come out later when i feed him probably um but that's oh i'm oh, sorry i keep getting off track it's like a talking video um but with the pond i'm putting outside I'm gonna move these big boys, the um, my two koi and my goldfish are gonna be in a pond outside. I just have to get a pump and get that started and um, get all the chlorine out of the water and we're good to put these fish in there. So that won't be, that'll be a pretty soon and I promise you I will film it when I get it. I will film the video. Oh, and uh, what I also did today is I removed one, oh gosh, there's one of the plecos. I don't know who that is. I can't tell because their, their coloration. Um, and here's the second one in here. There's one in here. You see him? Oh, there, there. Yep, you just saw him. Um, I believe this one is shadow, and the one over here is plank wherever he went 
Well, yeah, the one over here is um, Plank. So now Shadow and Plank are both in here. Um, then once the pond gets started, I'll both take them outside and they'll live in the pond. But um, I bought the new, oh gosh, there he is, there he is. Do you see him? He was just out. Gosh, dang it. I missed it. I hope you guys saw him, but he's the albino Pleco. First one was Pleco. I don't know what he is. Um, back to over here. <laughs> Unless he comes out again, then I'll try to catch him with a camera. Um, but yeah, I moved them both over here because I was getting the new op the little albino Pleco. Plus, Shadow is getting big for the tank. He's almost as the size of this goldfish so I had to move them over and being in a little 10 gallon tank really can stunt their growth but it's really not good for them so I had to move them over here before he before we have problems um so he has a hiding spot he has a couple hiding spots there's one there's two over there and there's a couple hiding spots down in like a crevice right there and on the ship he can hide so he has plenty of hiding spots um the koi and goldfish are getting big for this because i have i have deep de decor in here so it really takes up the space and then on their turns they're really sharp turns i get for some reason especially when they're close to the ship so once i get the pond started you guys will see be seeing some pond videos um, I will be making a video Friday that might go up Saturday, but it's, um, will be on this, this tank right here. That's nothing in it. Um, I don't know if I explained this in one of my previous videos, but the reason that has nothing in it is because, um, my clownfish died that was in here. Uh, I don't know what happened, but he died, so I'm going to clean this whole tank out um, and probably put, like, a beta or something in here, and it will have a really good life. It's about, I don't know, oh, two and a half gallon tank. I might even put some some of these little fish in here. They might just stay in this tank, though, because they're living the life. Um, but this tank, I need to do something with this. Excuse the mess, guys. I was doing something. And I haven't cleaned up. Um, but yeah, that's basically it. There's the shadow. Okay, so uh, yeah, that, that's basically it. Again, with the Friday thing, I might have a video going up that day. I mean, Saturday, sorry. <laughs> um, and actually, I will go outside and show you guys my pond. So... Let's go do that. Um, so, I am out here. I'm also using my phone as a flashlight because there's frogs. And I don't hate frogs, but I don't really like them right now because they give you warts and I don't want warts. Um, here, I'll stand back. Um, this is what the pod looks like. It is a plastic liner. and I think it's plastic. I don't know what it is. But um, this is my pond um you have your rocks i'll give you guys a better view on friday i'll come out here and show you guys it during the light um but this is going to have a bucket that's gonna sit in sit in there and it's gonna be one of those waterfall buckets and i'm gonna connect it to a pump that's gonna be in the water and it's gonna pump out water through the waterfall and then it'll go to the rocks and then it'll be like another it will go into the pond. Um, but I can't really add the fish until I get the pump, like I said. Um, and the thing over here. I added some rocks on this side. Right here. Um, these are all like little pebbles, I guess. Um, the water is actually green. You, can't, you guys can't even see the water. But it's green um, because of the algae growth. And... Um, so up in our sky, the sun direct, when it, the sun rises, it directly hits the pond, and then when it's overhead, it 
somewhat hits it but when it's down that way it doesn't so it's kind of in the shade kind of not but the plecos will love that algae to eat it um ah sorry i think they're turning my neighbors would probably turn on their sprinklers or something um but i added um i don't know what this is called drop in the comments down below what you think this rock is I don't know what that sound is, but it's something. Um, drop in the comments down below what you think this rock is. I don't know. It's like slate rock, red rock stuff. Um, but I use that for the outer layer of my pond. Um, and then I just, on the out outside, I have lava rock already here. So I just left it here and just like put it in different places. Um, but yeah, I um, probably tomorrow if this water is completely drained which it probably should be i'm gonna hop in there and i'm going to add this um what's it called flex seal spray stuff and i'm gonna spray the whole entire bottom because there's a leak um in here and it's leaking all the water out of here and it's dropping um humendously so there's some cracks but i patched them up with this with the flex seal so I just have to do the bottom, make sure there's no cracks on the bottom. And we should be good. And then, of course, water, my whatever I'm going to add in here. Um, but for some reason, the frogs, of course, the frogs, gosh dang frogs, um, they keep hopping in here and they have no way to get out. So I have to think of a way for them to get out so that they don't like. I don't know if, drop in the comments down below, what do you think frogs can do to your fish? I don't know. If they have like parasites, bad stuff in the water or something. Um, but I will be getting minnows and I'll be putting them in here with the koi, the goldfish, and the plecos. And I might get a, I don't remember the correct name of a, this shark, but oh, I think it's called the hyphen shark. And um, it's like a bottom shark, it just like roams the bottom. It's pretty cool. Um, I'll have a picture of it popping up on the screen. So. Um, that's basically it. That's probably what I'm going to put in here is koi, goldfish. I'm just going to put the two plecos in here and, uh, maybe a sail. I forgot that. I actually forgot what I called it. <laughs> um, but one of those sharks. So, um, that's basically it. And then this pond. And then this pond will be ready to go. There's gosh dang mosquitoes out here and gnats. So I'm going to head inside. And uh, this, is the end of video. this is the end of the video. Um, make sure you don't for forget to subscribe. Like this video. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Which will be Friday. Which I will film it Friday. It will be on. This will. Ah, gosh. The video will be going up on Saturday. So don't miss it. And um, I'll see you guys in my next video. Don't forget to subscribe, leave a comment on those things that I just said, and I'll see you guys. Peace.